And today we're supposed to be having hot chocolate with Melanie Mommy, but we're gonna be doing something a little bit different this time. We are gonna have bedtime with Melody and Mommy. And, mommy. and guess what Melanie has book she's picked out? It's a unicorn. Yeah. Of course, it had to be unicorn. It is a unicorn's 101. And we're going to be reading it to you guys. And Melanie, because it's almost time for her to go to sleep. Uh huh, and it looks backwards to you, but it's actually forwards. Yes, it is. Unicorns 101. All right, let's open it up and let's read the book. Ooh. Ooh. You need to sound more pages. excited than that. But how are you going to see the pages then? How are you going to see the pages? Um, we're going to show them the pages. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, come on as we read this book. book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unicorns 101. Magical Majestic, better than horses, they are unicorns, unicorns. 101. <laughs> this book is by Kale Atkinson. Oh, awesome. All right, Melanie, let's turn to the first page. But first, I gotta tell the kids something. Okay. All right. She asked, Melanie needs to tell you something very importante. Yes. Do you know I read this book already? What? You read the book already? You weren't supposed to read this book yet. I you read it without to... mommy. It's okay, but Rob is going to read the book. I was just flipping the pages for her. So Bobby's going to get two rat codes because, well, they got one rat code. From, you remember that day when I did it all by myself? Yeah, Melanie but, was too excited, so she tried, so she decided to read the book by herself without Mommy. So she's already gotten her lab coat. But, Melanie, they don't even know what we're talking about. We have to read the book first for them to understand why they get a lab coat. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's get back to the book. Ooh, cool. What is a unicorn? Biology. The horn of the corn. Diet and digestion. Unicorn types. Unicorn history. Habitat in homes. Social behaviors. Common unicorn questions. Graduation and celebration. Oh, wow. This is going to tell us a lot about unicorns, Melanie. I'm going to pick one. Oh, I know all of them. You know? Okay, well, don't tell us because we're just now finding it out. Those look like some cool unicorns. Wait, wait a second. That's not it. Well, let's change the page. All right. Unicorns. You've seen them. You love them. But how much do you really know about them? Hmm. We have Professor Glitter Pants. What? <laughs> Wait, that's Glitter Pants? Yeah, Glitter Pants. Oh, that's Meet the glitter top. Balls. No. Meet the top unicorn scientists working today. We have Professor Glitter Pants, Grand Unistorian. Then we have Professor Sprinkled Steed, wow. Doctor of Magic. Then we have Professor Starhoof, Rainbow Metric Specialist. Then we have Professor Sugarbeard, <laughs> <laughs> Certified Hornologist. Then we have, oh, it's just Pete. <laughs> These unicorns are masterminds Be with the help of their trusty lab assistant. Pete, are you here to bring the facts, settle the mysteries, and show us what the deal is with unicorns? I don't know, Pete. Are you up for the challenge? Guys, do you think Pete is up for the challenge? Yes. To tell us about the unicorns? 
Why are you acting like a voice? <laughs> <laughs> it's so much better when you make voices. Next page, Melanie. Wait, but this could be someone else now. Look, it's him. Oh. You gotta act a different voice. Oh, I see. What is a unicorn? It takes more than a fancy horn to be a unicorn. Using Pete as our example, let's have a closer look at what a unicorn looks like. Common name, unicorn, but a Han Horskas. Magical Honoranda. Hoot. Abby Sandwich. Hoot. We already read that one. Uh. Size, hoof to head. 30 to 67 hamster tall. Mm. Horn, 4 through to 4 through 20. Rainbow master long. Meters long. Weight, 40,000 gummy bears. Colors, all of them. Group of unicorns, cornucopia. Name of young, for the young, candy corns. <laughs> Lifespan, super long. Did you know you can tell the age of a unicorn by counting the rings on its horn? Did you know that? No. I didn't know, yeah, I didn't know that either. Okay. Wow, I'm learning so much about unicorns. See if you can spot Wait, that's a different person. the unicorn. That's a different book. It's just a girl. Oh, it's a girl? Huh? Really? Yeah. Hey, see if you can spot the unicorns. Let's see. I see one unicorn. One. Pete. <laughs> I see Pete. Hmm. You might make, think that's a Unicorn, but it looks like a horse this way. Uh, yeah, it looks as look. I think I only see one. Oh, there's a unicorn up there. Do you see another unicorn? Oh, this was a unicorn. I think I see three unicorns. How many do you see? I think I know how many unicorns are there. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, and look, they got a little pizza in there, too. <laughs> yummy, yummy. All right, next page, Melanie. He's like a server, and he's going to eat the pizza. Probably, he's going to eat the pizza. Eat the pizza. What? S Biology, section two. A unicorn key features are what separates it from the common horse. Typically, or a typical donkey or re unremarkable pony. What? Trademark, awe inspiring horn, luscious mane that smells of cinnamon magical symbol somewhere on its body sparkling hooves colorful and shiny coat that is a unicorn biology okay thank you i'm gonna do the next part okay awesome so now it says looking at the z-ray view we can see just how a unicorn ticks. And uh -huh. we can also see what Pete had for lunch. Mmm, looks good, Pete. Good job, baby. All right, Mel, turn the page. Wow, look at all he had for to eat. Rainbows, donut, a cookie. <laughs> no, he didn't Apple. eat the rainbow. He ate strawberry, too. Oh, yeah, that's a strawberry? Is that a heart? That's his heart. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's so turn I the page. A donut, a apple, and a cookie. Mm-hmm. And that's a skeleton. Yep. All right, let's turn the page. And why is Brian is playing a ukulele? Because he's full of magical music. And the stars and this. Yep. All right, let's turn the page. Turn the page. Oh, Hello, the horn of the corn. <laughs> Unicorns are known for their legendary horns, made of fifty percent of magic, forty-five percent of mystery, and five percent of sugar. Unicorn, ah, there's a foot. Unicorn <laughs> horns are full of unknown, ah, <laughs> un unpredictable powers. Cases of unicorns accidentally using the horns power includes Sparks, Sprinkle, Toot, 1990, made it rain waffles for a full week. And then Peppy Power Wolf in 1982 made Rainbow shoot out of the eyes of a chicken named Gus. Like Gus the Gummy Gator. Like Gus the Gummy Gator for Grimes World. Um, I don't know about that. The chicken is named Gus, not a alligator <laughs> you're talking about an alligator here they're talking about a chicken <laughs> silly, silly. Little girl. unicorns have many different uses for Wait, their horns yeah you want to figure out the puzzle yeah, when we get there, you're telling them the story before we get to the story. <laughs> they don't even know it's a puzzle yet. Unicorns have many different uses uses for their horns. Pete will demonstrate donuts on a horn, campfire to roast marshmallows, a pinata to hold up a tent. A tent pole. All the things that a unicorn can do. I wonder, is this a puzzle now? Yes. Okay, tell us about the puzzle. What are we supposed to figure out? We're supposed to figure out what Pete do. <laughs> Baking marshmallows on his horn. Mm -hmm. Marshmallow <laughs> stick. Mm -hmm. and, and putting donuts on his horn so he can store it. Mm -hmm. That hold all of them since he has hooves. Mm, he's eating one of the donuts. I don't know if he's storing them for the winter or if he's eating them now. I think he's just eating them now. <laughs> Page turner! And he's holding it for the tent. I hope it don't break. Yeah, we definitely don't want it to break. Well, make sure you, if you're a unicorn, that you protect your horn. Yes. All right, let's turn the page so we can show them what else ah. it's about. All right. Strict diet and digestion. A unicorn's diet is voice. important to keep a coat's glittery manes full and horns strong. While horses may be happy eating boring old hay, unicorns crave the finer things. Things unicorns eat. Ruby and emerald flatjacks, 24 carat cake, peanut butter and pixie dust sandwiches, Things unicorns should be avoid. Melanie, read those for us. Salad board. Mm hmm. Cheese plant. Platters. Platters. 
tentacles. Utensils. Utensils. In the name of science, we need to cover what Nobody happens after a unicorn <laughs> eats. This is the professor. He has to, okay? Professor Starhoof, where are, are you sure? I am afraid we must for science. Like all other animals, unicorns have to go to the bathroom with one slight difference. Unicorn poops cakes. Yes, cakes. <laughs> they poop wait, cakes. It's, wait, it says yes, cupcakes. Yes, cupcakes. That's right. It says cupcakes. They poop cupcakes. Wow. Well, let me read this one. Okay, go ahead. This is why you never find a unicorn at a big slide. Sale. Sale. At a bake sale. Wow. Unicorn history. Gather around. Let's gallop back in time for a brief moment and learn where unicorns come from. Uh -huh, but I want to do this. Okay. But I might yeah. need to help. I okay. need to help with this first one. You can see here, over the past million years, unicorns went from water to land and eventually to peat. First, there was an, ame an amoeba corn. Then... Wait, I want to see this, say this part. Then there was fish corn. And then there was amphibian corn. Then there was wizard corn. Then there was dino corn. Wait, dino's in this book? Dino corn. Uh, why dino's in this book? He's gonna mess it up. No, dino won't mess it up. And then there was... Apple corn. No, ape. Corn. Apricorn. And then there was a horse corn. And then there was a magi majest what is that? A majesty a majesty corn. Okay. And that is Pete. <laughs> then there was Pete. Then there was a fly corn and a bird corn. Hmm. Wait, that's a pit in the corn. That's a bird corn. Why? He looks like a pigeon. He does look like a pigeon. <laughs> Behold our gallery of history. Most famous unicorns. Dr. Hoof Sweetmane. First unicorn to stand on two legs. Professor Sparks Moon Dust. First unicorn to harness the power of the rainbow. Jolly Fancy Who's, first unicorn to wear clothes. Then we have Captain Candy Beard, discoverer of the mirror corn. Then we have Monsieur Bon Bon, first unicorn to speak French. Then we have Buttercup Sparkle Cheeks, first unicorn to trot, trot on Pluto. Then we have glitter pants. We've talked about this. Nanny looks up. He's trying to put himself up there. <laughs> In history. I know. I want to do this one. Okay. Section 7. Habitat and homes. Where does a unicorn live? Let's take a look at Pete's home to find out. Uh, and three fairies are trying to go in. Yep. Three telltale signs you found a unicorn home. And three fairies are trying to get in. Garden genomes. 
fairy infestation, horn shape in doorway. So those are the three ways to know you found a home of a unicorn. Ooh, look at all they're doing. Mm -hmm. First she wakes up, goes down the slide, have a dance party in the morning. In the morning? Yes. He's on a lot. All right, let's it change. Done. Where's he? It, it done. And then he takes a bath. It's a genome. Wait for fairy. Where's the fairy? Right there, in the bathtub. Hmm. Wow, that's so many cool things that he's doing in his home. All right, turn the page. We now know what it takes to go to figure out if it's a fairy's home. Uh, but or, what? I mean, a unicorn's home. What? He's the biggest one. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Section 8, Social Behaviors. Social animals by nature, unicorns, always enjoy chit-chatting about the weather and discussing whose mane is the brightest. Favorite unicorn activities include horn jousting, competitive ring toss, javelin throwing, knitting circles, most animals <laughs> they disagree, but unicorns have a much more creative way of solving disagreements. The ancient ritual of the dance Moments later. Right now, now it's time to change the page. Turn the page. Oh, I think you turned too much. There we go. Common unicorn questions. Why don't I ever see a unicorn? It's actually a girl. Oh, why don't I? Why don't I? Hey, why don't I ever see a unicorn? Unicorns have become masters of disguise. In order to live a normal life and avoid being mobbed by cornies everywhere they go. See if you can spot Pete hiding in these examples. Pete is in that one. Mm -hmm. That's a sweet eye. Pete is a weird mustache. Mm -hmm. Pete is in that. And that too, he looked to put on his horn. Mm. Why well, he had to stick his eyes out? Can he put his <laughs> thing between them? <laughs> and him. Mm -hmm. Because he has a Why does a baby unicorn look? What does a baby unicorn look like? There's a reason why you don't see baby unicorns. Oh, this is a guy talking now. Well, there's a reason why you don't see baby unicorns. They are too cute. Well, not just too cute. They are cuteness overload. Many people have been forever changed by the high level of cuteness. For the first time... Oh, now it's late. For the first time ever, we will give you a glimpse of a baby unicorn. But be warned, stare too long and you'll be seeing nothing but glitter for the next week. Prepare your peepers, cause here we go. Turn the page. The baby. <gasps> He's, so He's so cute. I think I'm gonna get sparkles in my eyes. He's too cute. My eyes. 
it is true that unicorns are the most magical creatures in existence yes obviously as well as the most majestic magnificent and cool other notable magical creatures include pixies includes corgis and wizard yaks what, what? Well, that's a wizard yak what do unicorns use rainbows rainbows for the real question is what don't unicorns use rainbows for they paint their homes with rainbows fuel their cars with rainbows and even flavor their pancakes with rainbows if you see a rainbow you can bet your horn there's a unicorn nearby Whoa. wow turn the page Graduation! Celebration! Congratulations! By completing this book and learning all the juicy unicorn knowledge, you have earned your white lab coat and now join the ranks of brilliant unicorn scientists. Welcome to the team! You've read this book three times? No! Now I read it two times. Oh, two times. So you got two lab coats. Oh, I do it. Yeah, because you read the book two times. You got two lab coats. Oh, I'm going to read this the third time. You get another lab coat. All right, let's look at our diploma. Ooh, unicorn scientist. And it's signed by all of the professors. Maybe you'll be the one to discover the next rare unicorn. This was a really, really, really good book. Let's turn it to the next page. It's only this one book. Whoa! Look at that guy with all the muscles. And look at that book. And look at the uni bird uni bird corn. Wow, that was a good book. Well, guys, that was an awesome book. I learned so much about unicorns. So we're going to wish you guys a great day or night whenever you're watching this video. And we're going to say goodbye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed the book. If you want to hear and see more videos of different books that we're reading, make sure you give us a like, a thumbs up, and hit that like and subscribe button. All right. Bye. Bye. Have a good morning or night. Or afternoon.